to do is we are going to extrude these guys okay extrude these guys based on the relationship that they created with the attractive curves so i'll grab my distance again right why don't we grab a number and i'll grab some relays there are a bunch of other ways to do this by the way so i'll be pulling this down here and then getting this relay over here and this is basically the value that we'll be remapping right uh to extrude but this time what we are going to do we are not going to extrude them so like extrude them going up what i'll be doing this time is basically i'll be extruding them again let's say i'm focusing on this part let me draw it in a larger scale so if i oh this is a smaller detail somewhere here going down if i draw this again what i'll be doing is i'll decide the heights now based on I want to this time extrude them not with the height of it only but the number of floors maybe so instead extruding them going up what I'll be doing and if I sketch it over this guy here again what I'll be doing is I'll be sketching them but not going like that I'll be sketching with the number of floors. Let's say this guy will have, I don't know, five floors. Okay, so I can add these guys to the group as well. Okay, oh, and how I can do that? Let's go, let's switch back to my perspective view for that. And we are going to remap these values. But this time the remap values are going to be the number of floors that I'll be supplying. So my target is going to be like let's say four floors to ten floors and each floor will have um, the value of five as a floor height so if i grab a panel and check this what i'll see is i will have this this is fine and if i round these values to the nearest one we'll grab something as such and obviously I can group this to well, other scribble mm, floor number remapping and add this to group and multiply this by floor height like let's say 5.5 .5. Group this as well. This might be a bit important. So, what are we having? It's this color. And sorry, I am trying to pay attention to groups as well. So, it might be a bit boring for you, but it's always good to keep things in order. So, for height, I would say in meters, obviously. And if I connect this to my Z, and if I pull this over, let's see what I have. Whoa, you see, what I'm having here is the closer ones to the road is getting, uh, is getting, oops. Okay. Ah, uh, the problem is, uh, the problem is we are remapping these values by the distance but our distance has changed right so what i need to do is instead of using this i need to reuse this obviously we can bypass this by using the 
like indices that we are creating here. However, the safest road is to use the curves again, maybe connect another relay here, and another one. Okay. And get the areas pull point these are my point this is my geometry right and now what I'm having is 355 and I have this year 432 but this time I remap these values these distances but I'll see let's see you see the ones that are close to my roads are getting shorter the ones that are getting far away from my roads getting higher and if you increase the number of floors let's say add it to x let's say 20 and i want to have it 15 you have a longer buildings here as well so this is sort of important here and what i can do here is basically group this and re attracting the curves and i can take this over here why don't we have some space right some space here have some space here and so on and so forth so if obviously I this guy here preview it off and you see I already have my geometries here that are created by these roads if I add like let's say 26 I will add more if I add 20, I will add more. So the system works in a quite well organized, in a quite organized manner. And in the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to talk about how we can visualize this information.